Okay, that was this little cut, and now I'm back to my my little snack here. I've gotten rid of all of the wings, the uh, stinger from the um, scorpion, and the legs off of that other large roti looking thing. So those are all in this little discard pile. And this is the edible pile. The frog, of course, is gone. And the woman told me that I should uh, have the scorpion, at least, with alcohol. So I've poured myself a couple little glasses of Yadong. And we shall continue. This, by the way, cost more than my dinner. This was uh, 20 baht for the mangpong, the scorpion. The little pile of beetles is 10 baht. The big roachy looking thing is 10 baht. And the, uh, the frog she just gave me for free. So I think I'll start with this one. It's quite big. Mm, how long would you say that is? Two and a half inches, close to three. That's what it looks like in reference to the uh, teacup. Okay, here we go. It's very different than the grasshopper. The grasshopper has like this crunchy, shrimpy kind of feel to it, like deep fried shrimp, but this is like much, the shell is kind of thicker. So it's more like uh, the texture you get on shrimp when it's boiled as opposed to when it's deep fried. I'm talking about boiled and when you eat the, the shell as well. And there doesn't seem to be so much stuff on the inside. So it has a very kind of hollow feel to it. Which I guess, I mean, the grasshopper is even more hollow. But there's this distinct taste, which is like some kind of vegetable that I can't quite put my finger on right now. But I wasn't expecting it, because it tastes really vegetable-y to me. Okay. Well, we'll continue with a few of the beetles. Now I think I'll have a sip of my Yadong. Okay. Now this critter is the piece de resistance. <clears throat> and I have to say I'm a kind of disturbed a little bit by it. It looks a little scary to me. It kinda reminds me of a eating crab. in terms of the size, although it's bigger than most crab you'd get in like some tampu or something like that. Hmm. I guess the claws are about the same size. 
but the body is definitely bigger than the the rice patty crab that you eat in uh, Somtam. Now I have to decide which side should go in first, the head side or the back side. I think it'd probably be easier from the back side. I'm hoping I got rid of any poison that, that was there. Okay. Let's take a bite from the back. Just pure shell at this point. Now I can see what it looks like maybe on the inside if uh, you can see that. It has kind of a mucky taste, like a muddy taste almost. Not particularly good, I would say. And the, um, the shell is quite thick, so it does have more of a texture like, like a soft shell crab or something like that. Legs are just crispy little critters. Not so hairy. They're not pricking my, my mouth like I thought they might be. <clears throat> they have these wing-like appendages underneath. I don't know. See that. Almost reminds me of a uh, like fish gills. Okay. Maybe I should have a drink about now. So we're down to just the uh, front claws and the, the kind of head part of it. Sorry, biology teachers, I've forgotten if that's called the thorax or whatever. Maybe I'll go claw first. Pure shell, no meat. Not like crab claws at all. Let me try to bite this one in half so you can maybe see what's inside or what's not inside. It's quite hairy, but you can't really feel the hairs. But you can see the hairs. You probably can't because I'm sure this camera's not very good, but it's a very hairy little object. Okay. I guess that white part is what you would call meat. But as you can see, there's uh, very little of it. It's all kind of dried up. Basically, it just tastes like um, shell. <clears throat> I've been so afraid of these antennae looking eye things but I guess they won't pose much of a problem the woman did say kin dai moi you need everything I'll wash it all down with uh, some yadong. The rest of the beetles I'll finish later. <clears throat>